Okay, uh, before moving forward, I want to point out that this series of videos is geared towards people who are new to Adobe Illustrator or haven't worked with it much. So I have not been using keyboard shortcuts on purpose. I've been showing you, you know, where to find all the tools and the, the icons. However, going forward, we're going to be using keyboard shortcuts. So I wrote them down here so they're easier to kind of digest. To activate the pen tool, hit the letter P. Add anchor point tool, just simply hit the plus sign on the keyboard. Uh, the delete anchor point tool, which I don't think we're going to use in this exercise, is just hitting the minus sign. The anchor point tool, that little bird beaky thingy, um, hit shift C on the keyboard. Hold down shift, hit C, and that enables the anchor point tool. A big one that I use a lot and that we're going to be using going forward. On the Mac, if you hold down the command key, or on the PC, if you hold down Control, it enables the selection tool, and I'll demonstrate that as we go. So, do use keyboard shortcuts. It makes your workflow easier. It's also much, much easier on the wrist that you're using your mouse with. When you get a job doing this stuff and you're doing this six hours a day, it really makes a difference. So, um, just kind of. Uh, get used to using the keyboard shortcuts. I intentionally have not been using them because I didn't want to confuse you too much at the beginning here. Okay, um, so here we are. We got our body drawn. We're going to draw the fins now and the tail using the same strategy, using the ellipse tool to rough it in. And I'm not going to go step by step through every uh, thing that we've already done. So make a new layer call that layer, let's just call it uh, fins for now, F-I-N-S is fine. Make sure the layer is enabled. Uh, enable the um, the ellipse tool, so come over to the left. It should be waiting there for you. You can hit the letter L on the keyboard if you want to do that. So I have my ellipse tool enabled. <clears throat> now the same strategy, I'm going to draw a sloppy circle or ellipse to kind of like, kind of sort of follow this uh, curve at the top here. So it's not going to be perfect. <clears throat> Using the black arrow, the selection tool, what I'm doing is I'm mostly concerned with, again, it's not a perfect circle, you know, of course. So that's, you know, okay, see how this, this ellipse kind of sort of follows that. Same thing, we're going to use uh, either the, the white direct select tool or the um, anchor point tool to edit these uh, anchor points. So hit the white arrow, the direct select tool, and let's see what we can do here. So, okay, I got the top anchor point selected. I want to see if I can get a curve to follow that, kind of, sort of. And remember, our interpretation of this is um, stylized and geometric. So does it have to be perfect? Absolutely not, it does not. So I think the best thing to do is I'm going to, with the, the white arrow, grab this anchor point and just drag it down here. All I care, I don't care about this stuff here in the fish because it's going to be, we're going to unify all these shapes. Is this part kind of sort of looking okay and you can use some artistic license that's a really yicky looking curve there um, that might work that has this nice little flare on it um, so that's that and I'll at the end of this video I'll uh, disable the, the back image so you can see what these look like same thing let's do this guy now uh, ellipse tool coming over here nice little sloppy ellipse there the white arrow the selection tool now um, I'm gonna pull this down here I'm gonna pull this guy up here and this anchor point I'm gonna pull it up in here again everything within the body I don't care how, how bad it looks. Okay. Don't worry about this stuff. Does this look okay? And it, it, it's okay for now. Um, this 
yeah, I'm gonna leave that there. This this like cut right there because I I think it'll be okay. Ellipse tool again. So, uh, sloppy ellipse again over here. White arrow, the selection tool. I'm gonna pull this anchor point up here. This um, on the real fish, these two fins are very very close together. I'm not going. I'm going to grab this anchor point and pull it up this way. Um, and the real fish, these fins are almost touching. On my stylized drawing, I'm going to like have some breathing room between these. Okay. There's one. There's the other. Now, finally, the tail. The same thing. Uh, the ellipse tool. Nice big ellipse white arrow I'm gonna position this here this part right here might be a problem so we'll just have to deal with it um, first of all uh, just deselect grab this middle anchor point and pull this in grab this anchor point and pull it out grab this anchor point and pull it out so I didn't add any anchor points or anything. So I got this, let me turn off, for this one, let me turn off the image. So you can see it's it's kind of weird looking. Okay, let me turn the image back on again. I want to get this nice inward sweep here. So let's see if I can do that with my handy dandy uh, white arrow. I'm just going to grab this anchor and pull it in. And I'm going to hit this anchor point and pull that up and again this I'm okay with this really because it, it's a stylized interpretation um, I'm gonna grab this rightmost anchor point and and really pull it in here because what I want to try to do is this might be an issue that we have to fix later because it's so sharp. Okay, so anyway, let me deselect. I'm going to turn off the um, image and I'm going to turn off our body. So those are the fin shapes and I want to, you know, reiterate that this is not, that does not have to be perfect. Uh, in fact, let me go white arrow. I'm going to select this tail again. I think it'd be nicer if I had like a a nicer sweep in this is not necessary but I'm going to use the anchor point tool so I'll shift C and there's my little bird beak I'm going to grab this click and hold it and just pull it in so it's more in line with that with the anchor point tool still enabled I'm going to grab this other handle and to be honest with you you don't have to really stress out too much about this just get it close okay so I use the I just wanted a more of a negative curve uh, more of a concave curve there if I hold uh, yeah and let's let's just uh, I'm, I'm stuttering now so let me turn the body back on let me deselect and let me turn off the image that's what we have so far